now we get to the fun part of digital planning. <laughs> Yay, the planners! <laughs> okay, this is the number one reason I switch to digital planning, the planners. In August of last year, 2018, I discovered a thing called Digital Notebook on Pinterest. I was scrolling on Pinterest and I saw something like Digital Notebook, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hmm, sounds interesting. And since I love DIYing, I created my own digital notebook over Illustrator on my laptop and I quickly set it up and I put it in my iPad and then I couldn't stop writing on it. I was journaling, I was brainstorming, I was making plans, I was making everything on that little digital notebook. So since I loved using it so much, I thought, hey, what if I take one of my printable planners, those I already have in my shop, into my iPad? What if I turn it into a digital planet? And I did that and I got cut. Um, I was I was a paper kind of girl my entire life, but since then I couldn't, I, I haven't turned back. I haven't looked back and I love it. I like it. I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> so yeah, I use my planners and my iPad for pretty much everything in my life. My regular monthly and weekly planner for my day-to-day life and to-dos, um, my business planner for my business and marketing, my Etsy shop planner for my Etsy shop, my fitness and health planner for my health and my fitness and my weight loss journey, um, my blog planner for my YouTube channel and my blog, and a little piece of my academic planner because I'm studying Italian. Um, Sono imparando il italiano, allora mi piace tantissimo. <laughs> I love having my planners. And you can have uh, or you can find more planners and inserts for other kinds of things and other areas of your life in my shop. If you cannot find them, let me know in the comments so I can put them up for you. And well, yeah, having a planner, a digital planner for each area of my life has helped me to be more productive, more organized, a lot less overwhelmed. And it is super important because I used to be overwhelmed all the time. I used to make the plans, I used to I have the goals and everything, but the overwhelm didn't help, didn't allow me to take action. And now that everything is in its own place, I have so much more freedom. I am, yeah, more productive, more organized, less overwhelmed, and happier. <laughs> so now the important question, what planner is best for you? Let's start with another question, which is what goal are you pursuing right now? What's the main goal that you're after right now? Is it to stay on top of your day-to-day, -day, your to-do list, your task? If that's it, then a weekly or even a daily planner would be the best for you. So you can have um, your to-do list broken down into your day-to-day -day or your hour-to-hour -hour, if that's a daily planner that's the best is your goal to get fit lose weight become healthier then your best bet is gonna be the fitness and health planner if you want to be more organized in your business if you want to uh, create a, a solid foundation for your business and maybe a marketing strategy that sticks, then the business and marketing planner is for you. <laughs> like I said, you can have as many digital planners as you want. 
Here the rule is to know the purpose of each planner so you can make the most out of them, of each of them.